Hi guys, it die example questions. Paper A, question number 5. Let us get a read of the question condition. Ventricular DP per DT is increased by an increase of the following. Afterload, preload, myocardial contractility, ionized calcium concentration and heart rate. All of these options are correct and let me explain why. So this DPDT is myocardial contractility by mean and I found also a definition that sounds in this way the maximal rate of rise of usually left ventricular pressure but it is determined by myocardial contractility and the loading conditions on the ventricle thus it is an imperfect sometimes incorrect predictor of the inotropic state or myocardial contractility so if you see this combination of dpdt it mean by self myocardial contractility so which factors increase myocardial contractility um, i have a picture here so let's imagine that this one is left ventricle and this one is a left atrium and between them mitral valve and of course ahead is a aortic valve and aorta so preload mean the blood that coming from the left atrium to the left ventricle and if a lot of uh, blood coming to the left ventricle it tend to dilate so increasing a volume of the left ventricle will dilate and will stretch the uh, myocardial muscle fibers and of course after the stretch of them the contractility and the force required to uh, to push this blood or to pump outside will be increased so it is a preload i start to do the second option <laughs> okay and afterload what mean if you are looking ahead to the aortic portion uh, and you have a defect or a deficiency of aortic valve and this uh, blood is coming back to the left ventricle this one will become also distended or dilated and the muscle uh, muscle of myocardium will have to work more for pushing it back or ahead to the aorta uh, also another condition for increasing the force of pumping is um, aortic stenosis it is a decreased orifice diameter which required also increased pressure to push this blood ahead myocardial contractility if you are giving a drug like the butamine or any analog of this or adrenaline or anything that work on a beta 1 a beta 1 receptor which is specific for uh, myocardium and dopamine this one will increase uh, myocardial contractility also by stimulating these receptors you increase a heart rate how does the heart rate increase uh, myocardial contractility also calcium increase contractility and magnesium is antagonist of calcium you should know uh, I'll give you some explanation regarding this heart rate and uh, and contraction heart rate and contractility so if blood is coming to the left ventricle and usually a person have um, contractility rate like 60 uh, to 100 normally if you to have a contractility rate of 60 
and during one minute you have 60 contractilities in one second you have one contraction and in this second blood is coming and is going out but if you have a contractility or heart rate like 150 it's a lot for heart it do not uh, cover all all these uh, forces for pumping it out and it coming a lot of, of blood but contraction is is uh, is abundant and have to increase the work for increase the work and increase the contractility of course for pushing this uh, blood a lot of blood coming you have less time for pumping and you need more force for uh, evacuate this blood let's review once again after load coming a lot of blood you need to work more for pumping it ahead after load aortic stenosis it is a uh, narrow orifice and you need to work with a greater pressure for pushing it myocardial contractility calcium and heart rate it is going around one uh, one uh, sense one meaning of this you have also uh, some uh, links you can access and read by self if you want have a great day and get a subscribe or a like if you really like this lecture thank you